All right, breaking news and just in, Johan Kortzer, the so-called Modimole monster, has been sentenced to life in prison. That's right. We got our reporter Karen Morn, who's been updating us uh, with the details as well. So there's the breaking news on screen for you. Let me just bring you up to speed with the, the charges that uh, Johan Kortzer was facing. He has gotten life for murder of uh, Conrad Bonnet, the son of Ina Bonnet, life for the rape of Ina Bonnet, and also 25 years for kidnapping and assault. As well as his co-accused, uh, they've also uh, received life sentences. And, and Bert Bam, who is the judge, uh, saying that the aggravating factors in this particular case are all overwhelming. He also said that it appears that Johan Kortzer was excessively jealous over Mrs. Burnett. And he seems inherently evil. This, of course, coming through uh, from Karen Morn, who is currently in the North Gauteng High Court right now. Karen, also updating us on some of the other comments from the judge, okay. dismissing yeah. Mokhlake and Mpaka's argument uh, that they are less them blame where they and there's no reason uh, for them to not get life in jail as well Peter Mokhlake and Franz and Parker uh, may have not been part of the planning of this crime but that doesn't help them and that's why they were given that sentence. Okay, so Mokhlake, uh, Mokhlake and Impaka both get life sentences and it seems that Bam, uh, Bert Bam saying that there's no reason not to give Andre Sitole as well a life sentence. So all three, despite the fact that Andre Sitole did fight against this and, he, and Bert Bam saying that it's clear that Andre Sitole supported and helped Johan Kortzer in the attack on his wife and it appears that he would have been paid to do so. The judge also going on to say, Eleni, that the, the assault on Ina Bonnet and the mutilation, as he elaborates, means uh, that she will be permanently disfigured. And uh, according to the judge, that was Johann Kotz's goal. And also the judge saying that uh, it cannot be found that because of his personality the problems, Johann Kotz has uh, diminished capacity, saying that he has not shown any remorse. And his lawyer's arguments are contrary to, uh, is, is, uh, to contrary is without substance as well. So basically saying that the defense argue, defense's argument to give Johann Kotz a lesser sentence is not uh, something that he could actually take cognizance of because... Johan Kortzer has not shown any remorse throughout That's the trial. exactly what the prosecution was going uh, after. So a reminder of uh, those sentences for you if you have just tuned in. Uh, Johan Kortzer getting life for murder of Conrad Bonnet, the life sentence for the rape of Ina Bonnet, and also 25 years in prison for kidnapping and assault. All right, so we'll bring you more detail on that. And also Bert Bam saying that the murder of Conrad Burnett uh, was senseless uh, because the boy also begged for his life. Uh, that just some of what's been coming through from the North Gauteng High Court this morning. I guess we'll hear from Karen Morn in a couple of minutes. So now she'll bring us up to speed with all of the details from within side court. News that moves. ENCA.com.